Welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller and today I am headed out to a couple yard sales. So it's not really a community sale, but it's a couple what's advertised as multifamily sales inside of the same town. So one specifically, I saw some items in the photo because I found this on Craigslist. Uh, I saw some items in the photo that I am super interested in, so I am hoping that I get there before anyone else buys them, and I noticed they had price stickers on, and they were priced a little high, but I'm going to try to work a bulk deal if they are all here. So... I'll try to tell you about that a little bit later. So anyway, as usual, I'm going to pick my mom up and then we're gonna get out there and see what we can find today. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Get your exercise this morning, aren't you? Uh-huh. On the hill. <laughs> That's for uh, a bed for gas. Thank for you. Gas. Is everything on here a dollar? All the clothes are a dollar each. Okay. Yep. Oh, really? Yep. Hmm. I don't know. Looks like maybe a little lamp. This one? Can you get it? I mean, if these are free. Oh, that one's chipped. I think I'll take the bulbs. Wait for the car,
It's kind of weird. Stainless serving separate altar. <coughs> Jeez. Using this camera, I should have used my GoPro. Hello over there. Hello. Two dollars for the stack of these. I think I might get those. These are kind of cute. How much are the ornaments? It's the whole thing for ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Everything in here is a buck a piece. Mm -hmm. And in there, this is all a quarter. This, these are quarters. Yeah.
Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Those are beautiful bulbs. I forget what company makes. Yeah, that is pretty. Mm hmm. They are. It's a tree. Do it, redoing my kitchen and I painted the cabinets. Well, I needed a break and I'd go for a walk and I'd come back and then mm -hmm. I could continue, you know. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's get into the haul now. I only went to about six sales this morning, and the first one I went to, I did not get any footage at. A couple of them I didn't. Uh, you know, some people like to really be involved in their sale and kind of like follow you around, and it was like one of those kind of deals. So in that type of situation, it's really hard to film. So actually, you know what, before I get started, I want to say thank you to one of my subscribers, Deborah Howe. She sent me this sweet card, a nice little message inside, and she sent me these two really neat postcards of Wallace and Gromit. She saw me pick up a Wallace and Gromit piece at the indoor like gigantic charity sale a couple weeks ago and she sent me these postcards and they are really cool I really I really like the graphics on this one so thank you so much Deborah I appreciate it I this is my first my first piece of mail I've received from you guys so I don't have enough accumulated to do a separate viewer mail or fan mail kind of video but I just did want to mention this and say thank you so now let's get into the haul I didn't get a whole lot so the first place I stopped at I saw that they had Yankee Candle tart burner warmer things and you guys know I love them so I saw them in the photos they were marked up they were marked ten dollars a piece now she had quite a few one of them was marked something else. They were not all marked Yankee Candle. So I ended up getting three of them. Uh, a couple I, a couple of them I was unsure about. This one I was actually unsure about, and then I saw the, the sticker on the bottom. Uh, so this is definitely one of the older ones. That sticker just fell off when I unwrapped it a minute ago. So I'm gonna try to get a little bit of adhesive and kind of stick it back on there. So this is like a mantle with a clock. It's a Christmas one and definitely one of their older ones. You can just tell uh, the clock does need new batteries, but it's got the basket and everything. Just have to put a little tea light down there. And she wanted, she wanted $10 a piece for these. And then her daughter had some Yankee Candle stuff, and I ended up getting it all for 50 So, it was a little much. I paid up a little bit. But, the next item I got was this one. This one is Yankee Candle. I don't have, I took, I took the baskets off. Well, they were off, basically, you know, when I package them but this is really cool aside from the 
little candle you'd put in here to warm the wax. It does light up inside the tree and the face. It's hard to tell. But yeah, that's pretty neat. So that one should do well. I actually just sold a Yankee Candle Halloween uh, warmer. It was a double warmer and I paid about $5 for it. I didn't even show it in a haul because it was kind of one of those one-offs. I was just driving by, I stopped at one sale and just picked up the, the warmers. So I had that listed for probably not even two weeks and it sold for $80. So the Halloween ones can do well. So I picked this one up. This does have the Yankee Candle tag there at the bottom. Now this one does not, but I know that this one is Yankee Candle as well, just from their wording and whatnot. This one also has the basket, and I really do like the Halloween ones. Now this one also lights up. So did the one that I sold for 80, by the way. And then if you turn it one notch over, it's got the sound as well. So how cool is that? Now it still has, you know, the wax residue in it, and even down in the tea light, it looks like some dripped over or whatever but pretty awesome. So the Halloween ones, I just have a feeling will do the best for me. And I will probably put those up for about $50 a piece. And then the Christmas one, I'm thinking maybe $39.99. Okay. So then in with that $50 price, let me get this out of here. I picked this up and I was a little sad to see when I got home that it wasn't going for quite as much as I thought it might but maybe maybe closer to Halloween it will these candles are gonna come out of here because I don't particularly care for those anyway this is a votive holder and it's booze bus the the Yankee Candle Smoky Bones and it's like a like a VW bus kind of deal. And the lights come on the back and the front. They have different switches. So that's kind of cool. And yeah, it's the Yankee Candle Bony Bunch. Now some of these pieces used to do really really well and and some of them still do uh and i thought this was going to be one of them but it does seem to average like 40 to 50 dollars but i thought that it might go for a little bit more some are some are actually selling for a little bit lower but i think closer to halloween this will do okay because i'm i'm gonna list this for about 50 bucks and this is uh, 2016 so you know once these are retired these are retired they're not they don't put them out again so then I pick this guy up as well like I said she did give me a little discount on all of them because I ended up paying $50 for everything uh, and this right here is just a kind of like a boat it's another bony bunch this one's from 2014 bony fish and boat and hopefully I'll get about 20 25 out of that so then at the same house but this was not theirs because their stuff was priced a little higher this happened to be a neighbor's house so this was only five dollars well it came from a neighbor's house but they had it at their sale and I did take it out and I looked at it and everything looked okay this is the London Skating Club. So the figurines actually move on the little rink there and everything. And everything looked like it was in here. Uh, maybe the tree, maybe it was missing a tree. I don't know. I will take it out again, but the, the rinks usually do pretty well. And I think with the building and everything, I think $5 was definitely a fair price for that. So I was excited to find that. All right, so then the next sale I went to, I picked up some clothing. 
she had some stuff on, and I think I showed this in the video, clothes on the blanket for a dollar. So I picked up this Victoria's Secret kind of hoodie. Oh, it's a size medium. You know what? My daughter might even, my daughter might even take that, to be honest with you. If she sees it, she'll want it. And then I picked up Victoria's Secret Ultimate Leggings. These are a large, they're a really nice like style. These would totally be her style, but I think that, I think they're gonna be a little too big for her. I think she would need a medium, so I will probably sell these, but a dollar, that's a great deal. Cause these, these are expensive. And I know because like my daughter wears a ton of Victoria's Secret stuff. So then I got two North Face kind of like a lightweight jacket type thing. This was five and this is a women's large. So that was a great price. And this one, this one here, I believe is a child's. It is, it's a girl's large, 14, 16. And this was also $5. Did not feel like that was a bad deal either. And then I picked up a pair of Michael Kors boots. Okay, and actually, she gave me a little bit of a discount too because she wanted uh, $5 for all the shoes and five and five for those and then one and one for the other. So that would have been, let's see here. I got four pairs of shoes the two jackets so it would have been $32 and she only charged me 25 so I did get a little bit of a deal I always ask if I am making a bulk purchase I will always ask if I can get a little bit off since I'm buying more and 99% of the time they say yes so yeah I actually got seven dollars off so yeah okay anyway Michael Kors ankle boots, very cute, very cute. A few very faint spots that you really can't even see unless you're like really up, up close. They're really nice. Then I picked up this pair of Mephisto sandals. This is a really good brand, an expensive brand. It's got a little bit of some kind of gummy substance on the bottom, but I mean, the footbed looks pretty good and everything. And then I picked up these uh, Nike running barefoot sneakers there. And the last pair of shoes is a pair of Tory Burch. And I'm not sure of the exact style of these. I know they're a seven and a half, but I'm not sure of the style name. They're kind of cute. The insoles need to be cleaned up a little bit. So I will do that with the easy cleaner. My next stop, I picked up this teapot. They had two of them. I only purchased one. The other one needed to be cleaned up quite a bit. This one, not as much. So I picked this one up. It's pure one. It's a very nice cobalt blue color. No chips or cracks. And I just thought it was cute. It was $2. Then I picked up these bowls they had plates i should have gotten the plates too maybe but these are just um Arcapal, france and they were free they smell a little smoky they need to be they need to be washed up okay so then i picked up this stack of fostoria mayfair plates in the amber color and I think I got eight of them and they were two dollars for the whole stack and I have to measure them to see if these are the salad plates or the luncheon plates but I think I should be able to get 30 or 40 dollars for the set of eight depending on like I said I do have to measure them I, I kind of think they're the salad plates and then I picked up this lucky dog friendly to cane 
I don't really know what this is. I just thought it was really cute. So I will look it up. It was 25 cents. And then I picked this set up. This is Vintage Horizon by Otagiri. $2 for this whole set. And this sells pretty well. If you go on, go on eBay and check the comps. And let's see here. What did I get? I got three of the bowls. I wish they would have had more of those. It would have been really nice if it was a fuller set, but still for $3. I think I did, or $2, $2. I think I did really well. Oh, here's more of these plates. I think I got like 12 of these maybe. Oh, so yeah, maybe, maybe I will definitely get 40 bucks at least. All right, so then I have four of what looked to be the salad plates, two of what appear to be the soup crocs or soup cups. These are unmarked, but I know that they are the same pattern. And see now these are unmarked too, but they have the little sticker label on. So these probably had the sticker label too. That is one thing with Otagiri. Not everything is marked with a back stamp. Some pieces are marked with a sticker and that sticker eventually comes off, which is what I think happened in, in the case of these. And then another little smaller, my neighbors, another little smaller mug also without the sticker. So yeah, I'm not sure I do normally part this stuff out and I think that's what I will probably do with this, but I know this also will sell well as a set. So I'm not real sure what I'm going to do, but for $2, I'm going to make a really good return on my investment, no matter what I do with these. And then my final item I paid $3 for, this is a Pampered Chef batter bowl with the lid and it's the eight cup so it's the larger one they also used to make these in the four cup this is the older style they do not make these anymore and i usually do well with these uh i haven't sold any for about a year year and a half maybe but the last few that i picked up i sold within a week or two and i think i sold the larger ones for $27.99 and I, and I was selling the four cup for maybe $22.99 something like that I don't know I can't entirely remember but I do I will have to look this up again and see what the going rates are on these but they're usually a pretty quick sale for me these are nice I actually have one myself uh you can just you know if you're making pancakes or something or I don't know just something you can just like refrigerate even like a salad pasta salad or something you just want to pop a quick lid on it mix it up in the bowl pop the lid on it put it in the fridge these are nice so anyway that's the last item I picked up so yeah I think you know for only going to five or six sales I think I got some decent stuff it was a lot of fun I was home a little early so I'm gonna try to get a little bit of listing done today and I'm gonna be heading back out tomorrow to see what I can find. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you think about this haul. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. Until next time, bye.